Rex Ryan is back to fat shaming his brother. Again. Before we get into this story, I have to disclose that Rob Ryan is my bae. Or he, he is bae? I don't understand how that phrase works, but it's huge in the target demographic. Uh, so now that my bias is perfectly clear, let's go ahead and journalism. Here is what Rex said about his brother this week at the NFL owners' meetings. He believes in himself so much, he won't get a haircut and keeps that belly the way it is. He's darn determined to show the league that I'm going to be a head coach and do it my way. No, you're not. It's unfortunate. I'm still trying to get that message across to him. Uh, pro tip, Rex, if you want to get a message to Rob, try putting it on the end of a popsicle stick. <laughs> but seriously, Rex, what the hell? Your brother is a saint. He is handsome and caring and fun-loving and funyun-loving, and that's why he's so sexy, I mean successful. Where did you get this idea that head coaches have to look nice anyway? Was it, was it Jim Harbaugh's pleated khakis from Walmart? Or, or was it Andy Reid's striking resemblance to an animated bowl of fruit punch? <laughs> or No, no, I get it. I get it. It's because the best coach of all time looks like a person who just lost all of their belongings in a fire. <laughs> Remember when Mike Nolan and Jack Del Rio both tried to wear suits on the sidelines? It was weird. Coaches are supposed to be kind of schlubby. I mean, the more the man at the helm of my team is like my dad, the better, because it makes it so much easier for me to both adore him and then blame him for everything that goes wrong in my life. <laughs> Love you, Dad. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers, though, just to see if Rex has a point, if slimming down really does make you a better coach. In 2010, Rex weighed in at 300 pounds and went 11-5, and five, leading the Jets to the AFC Championship. In 2014, when Rex had dropped to a slender 218 pounds, 4-12. and 12. The proof is in the lack of pudding. <laughs> to be fair, great pun. To be fair, Rex did successfully convince someone to shed some dead weight this year. Unfortunately, it was his boss. The weirdest part of the whole thing, though, is that this is far from the first time Rex has poked fun at his brother for his appearance. Rob, what do you think of your brother, Rex? I, I think Rex is a great coach. I think he's a great person. You know, there's no question about that. It's just that he's very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. He is looking bad. He's about 290. He should have had the lap band. Did not have the lap band surgery when I did, so that's clearly a mistake from him. And there are tons of other times that he's brought it up, but it just wasn't on camera. Because, you know, they add 10 pounds. And we can't have that. But he mentions Rob's weight and lap bands and how Rob looks, like, every time he has our attention. And I just can't figure out why. Am I getting, you know, paid to... As a, a paid spokesman for a lap band, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't say. So you're throwing your own brother under the bus so you can cash those lap band checks? Rex, you lap dog, you. You know, the real reason Rob hasn't been offered a head coaching position is because his head coach brother kind of sucks. If Rex was more successful, I guarantee Rob's chances of becoming a head coach would triple. And how do I know that? Two words, Jay Gruden. Rob, baby, don't listen to them. You're a national treasure. If these owners really don't want to give you a job because of the way you look, well, f them. I don't mind being the breadwinner. I can bring home the bacon. I just, if I'm going to bring back enough bacon for both of us, I think I need to borrow your truck. <laughs> now let's go eat a goddamn snack. <laughs>